Is that Chris? God, I've been waiting to do a video on this, and man, it's a lot I gotta say. Now, look, disregard how I look, I look rough. I just woke up, but hey, man, I'm getting straight to it. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's Look It's Jay here, y'all. Back up with another video, man. And today, y'all, we got a crazy and little wild video to talk about, man. It seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got uh, up and coming Nayo, Atlanta rapper Lil RT, and Mimo 600 on the roster. Now, it seems like uh, Mimo 600. Pretty much sent a little nine-year-old message after he was on stream with Casa Nat and he dissed King Von for no apparent reason. And I've been meaning to speak about this dude, not talk bad about it, but it's a lot I got to say about it because I don't like the way they portray him in the media and the way his career is going. Now, we're going to talk about all this, but before we do, y'all know my routine. Just hit that like button, bro, and smash that notification bell so that you know you can't be notified anytime I drop a video, bro. And I can also keep y'all updated on this situation. Now, I'm going to give y'all time to hit that like button and smash that bell, man. Hmm. Y'all got me? All right, bet. Now, basically, what we got going on, man, as I said, y'all, we got up and coming Nayo, Atlanta rapper, Lil RT on the roster. And we got the most tough guy in the world, Mimo 600 on the roster. Now, if y'all don't know who Lil RT is, he's a rapper that been trending all on social media. Like, they've been putting him in all the media pages, and he's been blown up for a song he got called 60 Miles. <laughs> As y'all see, yes, a little boy talking about, you know, um, spinning and telling my son she gonna suck the you-know-what, this and that. And his name has been trending all over social media. Now, I ain't gonna lie, um, I was not a fan of this guy, you know, because I feel like, you know, that's a little boy. And, like, the people that's promoting him and pushing him, they're trying to corrupt him at such an early age. Now, Kasanat, being a good person that he is, invited the boy on stream. And if you watch the stream, it seems like they had fun, and it seems like he was able to actually be a little boy again. But in the stream, they asked, they donated and said something about King Von, and this is what he had to say. Can you listen to King Von? No, no, you close. No, two times, multiple no. times, times, times. What? what? As y'all seen, uh, for no apparent reason, the little boy said F King Von, and then said I'm just playing to say RP, uh, the best rapper in the world, something like that. I don't know why he said it. Obviously, he was just like, I guess happy or just feeling the camera. I don't know. Now, Mimo 600, who was a close friend of King Von, responded and said, his little A better live to see 10 on Steve. Now, uh, obviously, that little boy shouldn't have said what he said, but keyword to what I just said, that little boy shouldn't have said what he said. Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. Um, Mimo 600, bro, that's a little boy. Like, granted, he shouldn't have said what he said, but he obviously don't know what he's talking about. And, bro, Mimo 600 is just too tough for me, bro. Like, obviously, I don't think he's going to do nothing to that little boy, but... Like, come on, bro. But I don't know why he said that. And I feel like that is just, just insane. Now, I want to speak about the little boy because, like, um, he also said something else that was on the stream that was trending. And it kind of, like, raised a red flag for me. But listen to this. I walk with a girl, and I give me a girl, and I want a hug. And I got a number. And I want to fuck down with a partner. What? What? As y'all see, he was freestyling about a girl and said something like he going to R-word her. You know what I'm saying? Think about Ape and put an R in front of it. Now, as you see, he instantly knew he was wrong because he ran right in the back and, and failed or whatever case may be, and he knew he had no business saying that. Now, um, I don't like the way this dude's career is going. Granted, uh, if you listen to his music or the song 60 Miles, the song that blew him up, you can see him talking about him spinning this and that and saying um, something like this many shots and saying she going to suck to this and that. And granted, rappers talk about this all the time, but that don't make it right, and it ain't good when they do it either. But I just feel like 
at that early age, bro, that ain't it, bro. That boy deserves a childhood like everybody else do. And it's crazy to see as that song blowing up, you see him getting pushed on more media platforms and uh, they giving him uh, like little live performances and all that. When in reality, bro, they should be stopping that, bro. You know, that boy is young and granted, he may look at it like he having fun and all that, bro, but y'all know it. It's spirits behind everything, man. Y'all know the music industry is the money. Anything that is talking about killing and drilling and all that is not good, bro. And that stuff can follow him when he get older, bro, because he going to have to live what he rapping about, you know? And I feel like the industry and everybody pushing him, that ain't cool. You got rappers and dudes from his city doing features with all that, and they just trying to use him as a way to get out, bro. And that ain't cool, bro. That little boy deserve a chance, bro. And I feel like, you know, um, nah, bro, we're not going to let Satan take the dude's childhood away from him and, 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 and corrupt his life, bro. That's a little boy, and he deserves to live like everybody else do. Now, if you watch the Kai stream, you can see that he was having fun. It felt like he was an actual little boy again. And it seems like, you know, that's what he needed to be around more versus what he doing. And as y'all see, you can see a little boy having fun, enjoying himself. Now, granted, you know, people grow up in different ways and different environments. And I know people personally that had to uh, have a rough childhood. And, you know, we can't ask why we dealt the cards that we dealt. We got to just deal with them. You feel me? But I just feel like um, now that he is um, up on the spotlight, he got a little, I want to say position of power, but people can like he don't have to live that life bro he don't have to do that bro because at the end of the day the labels and these people don't care nothing they just want to see you entertain them and make them money bro when you pass away they're gonna care about you for that one little minute and guess what after that one year don't nobody care about you no more man and like i said man he deserves to live like everybody else do man and i hate to see the way he going and how everybody trying to make him uh be this street rapper say oh he the hardest little boy out here and i ain't gonna lie the music sound good bro but it ain't for his good, you know? Um, I just, I hate that for him, man. But give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this. So let me know how y'all feel about the little dude in general. Do y'all feel like Memo 600 going too far? Do y'all feel like it's not that deep? Or do y'all feel like um, the industry know what they doing or what? Let me know what y'all think, man. It's your boy, Lucas J. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more than anybody ever will. And yeah, bro.